And welcome back to our live coverage. We're here on practice court one, where 20 time Grand Slam champion Roger Federer has come out in the sweltering heat for some last minute preparation for his first round battle. Federer just took the court, so let's get right to the action. And Roger Federer just taking the court. You see him practicing with a lefty hitting partner. He will be facing a lefty tonight in the 22-year-old Nishioka of Japan, Yoshihito Nishioka, coming into the tournament ranked outside the Top 200 in the world, but formerly number 58 in the world last year. His best result in the U.S. Open was a second round appearance in 2015. Nishioka, five foot seven lefty, a grinder, a fighter on the court. Roger Federer, of course, the man they call the greatest of all time, coming into the tournament ranked number two in the world. He's been playing well since a disappointing quarterfinal loss to Kevin Anderson in a top fifth set at Wimbledon. He got to the finals of Cincinnati before losing to Novak Djokovic. That was his first tournament since Wimbledon. Federer had a big three-set victory over countryman Stan Wawrinka in Cincinnati. Federer, of course, a five-time champion here at the U.S. Open. He won five consecutive from 2004 to 2008. That's a record. This run finally stopped by Juan Martin Del Potro in 2009, the 21-year-old Del Potro winning his first Grand Slam here in Frosting Meadows. Federer also reached the final in 2015, losing to Novak Djokovic. Speaking of Djokovic, we are officially on upset alert as Novak Djokovic is struggling in this sweltering heat in Arthur Ashe Stadium right now. He's playing against the 26-year-old Hungarian Fuksovic. They split sets and Fuksovic got up a break, but Djokovic just able to break back. It is now four all in the third set. Djokovic, the sixth seed, has had some injury concerns in recent years, but is powering through the heat out here over 100 degrees with the heat index. Going around the grounds, number four seed, the young German Sasha Zverev is having his way with Canadian Polanski up 4-1 in the first set. Diego Schwartzman, 13 seed, up two sets to none over Countryman Del Bonus. Philip Cole Schreiber at five games apiece on court 11. The young American Mackie McDonald won the first set. 6-4. And the 22 seed, Cecanato, we saw a great performance from him earlier this year, is down two sets to one. Roger Federer coming into the tournament with 98 career titles. That's good for second in the open era behind Jimmy Connors with 108. He first became number one in the world over a decade ago in 2004. Let us know in the comments your pick to win this year's U.S. Open. How is Roger Federer going to fare? Susan commenting, go Roger. Good luck in the tournament this year. Don commenting, go Roger as well. Monica showing her support for Roger Federer. Again, Federer is out here with a lefty hitting partner, a young Australian. Federer will be playing the lefty Nishioka from Japan today. That match coming at 7 p.m. in Arthur Ashe Stadium.
better just getting warmed up here. Fetters looked great in practice week. All week we saw him play a couple practice sets throughout the week. And Veronica commenting the best. Karen commenting go Roger, let's win the Open this year. Federer of course looking for his 21st Grand Slam. Already has the all-time record. Rafael Nadal of course still trying to close in. Nadal is the defending champion. Nadal was 17 all-time. Novak Djokovic closing in on the former record holder, Pete Sampras, of course. Arguably the greatest American tennis player of all time. Pete held the record with 14 before this big three era. And now Rafa with 20, or Roger with 20, Rafa with 17, and Novak with 13. Pete could one day possibly find himself fourth all-time on that list. Jessica commenting, good luck, Roger. Beth commenting, go Roger, as well. Of course, thanks to everyone for joining us all around the world. Joey Brander here with you once again, bringing you live coverage of player practice sessions. We'll be here throughout the whole tournament. out there with his coach, Ivan Lubacic. Lubacic, formerly number three in the world back in 2006. He's a former French Open semi-finalist, Australian Open quarter-finalist. He also reached the quarters of the U.S. Open in doubles twice. Lubacic, a Davis Cup champion, former coach of Milos Raonic as well. He's been working with Federer for about two years now. Lubacic has worked quite a bit on the backhand side of Feder. We've seen how effective Fed has been on the backhand side, especially when balls are hit up a bit heavier, up over his shoulder. He's able to do much more with that ball than we saw in his earlier career. Feder also a lot more comfortable playing offensive tennis than in years past. Demetrius in the comments saying big three best ever. Isabelle in the comments rooting for Roger as well. Karen saying he's looking in great form as usual. Fetters look great all week. You know Fetters on court when the fans are out in full force. The camera crews are showing up trying to find their place around the court. Catch a glimpse of the 20-time Grand Slam champion, Roger Federer. Federer's hitting partner taking a few volleys. Federer with a screaming backhand down the line there. Well, a lot of the players have come out and just had quick practice sessions warming up their strokes. You may see Federer play a couple of points or even games out here. Federer wanting to work on some tactics, some patterns, specifically for playing against a left-handed opponent. Regina commenting love to Roger for the win. Mary Beth commenting thing of beauty that backhand certainly is. Manasa commenting can't wait for the match. Looking good, Roger. Roger will be on in the night session 
This evening on Arthur Ashe Stadium, the first match of the day, followed by 2017 U.S. Open finalist Madison Keys. She'll be in the nightcap. You hear the roars in the background in Arthur Ashe Stadium. Of course, Novak Djokovic still trying to grind and fight his way to a victory. Djokovic just took the third set. Novak now up two sets to one. That was a big set for Novak. He got down a break early, was down a break at 4-2, but was able to rally his way back, win four consecutive games to take the set 6-4 in the third. Novak Djokovic now up two sets to one, and our upset alert may be dwindling a bit more. Roger taking some serves. Packed grounds again once again here at the U.S. Open. This is the 50th anniversary of the Open. Had an all-time record for attendance around the grounds yesterday on opening day of the tournament. Huge crowds on tap today as well. A beautiful day for tennis despite the heat. Karen saying thank you for having this great live feed of Roger. Well, you're welcome. We'll be live throughout the tournament with all the top players practice sessions and more behind the scenes coverage. Make sure you keep following us on U.S. Open social media. Follow myself, Joey Brander, on social media as well. We'll have all that live coverage for you, but rest assured every Federer, Rafa, Novak, Sloan, Venus, Serena, Sharapova, and more practice session of the tournament will be bringing you live. That will return there exactly what Federer has been working on over the past few years. That ball kicking up high over the shoulder of Roger on the backhand side. But Flicked it back deep into the court. Practice courts are filled up as the next group of folks practicing are starting to come on out, get warmed up for their matches. Apologize for the background noise. New York City, of course, city that never sleeps and city that's rarely quiet even around the tennis center. Roger Federer on the first practice court as many the top pros typically like to request. The court's a bit more shaded than the others, a bit more secluded as well. There's, of course, little that Roger Federer has not accomplished in his storied career, but a 21st Grand Slam and a six U.S. Open title is first in 
a decade would certainly be something that Roger would like to add to his resume after the two weeks here in Flushing Meadow. We will be back. We apologize for some of the technical difficulties.